Welcome back. I'm here with Kathy Applegate to talk more about great gift giving ideas for this Christmas season. We're going to talk technology and Kathy, there are so many fun gadgets and computers out there these days and I know you guys love the high tech gadgets. Yes. So we've got some great ones for you. The first one is a smartwatch. We've heard a lot about wearable technology lately and the smartwatches are gaining momentum. They've been around for a little bit, but they really haven't caught on. But the nice thing about these is they sync with your smartphone and you can check emails, you can see who's calling you. It's got some very versatile features. This one runs for right around $150. There's some other ones out there on the market, like the Samsung. They've got theirs out now, but it's twice as much. Uh, Sony's coming out with one, they say right around the end of November. Okay, and this works the Android and iPhone. Yes, yes, that's a nice thing. It's this is beautiful. going to have to go on the list for all three of the men in our family. Excellent. Well, hopefully they're not watching. <laughs> Tablets. I'm sure you have tablets on the farm. Yes. One we or do. two. <laughs> um, that's a start. <laughs> <laughs> they have really become an invaluable tool for the farmer. Yes. And you know what? International Data Corporation, if they're right with their predictions, this is going to be the year of the tablet. They are saying that by the end of 2013, there are going to be 190 million tablets sold incredible leaps and bounds from what they used to be and they've really come a long way in the last few years. This is actually the second generation of the Insignia Flex tablet. Obviously it's okay. got a 10.1 inch screen. It's got the Android Jelly Bean operating system okay. which is supposed to be very fast and mm -hmm. very quick and very user friendly. Um, what else have we got about this? It's Wi-Fi and Bluetooth enabled which is nice and for right around $220, it's a pretty economical device and it really doesn't sacrifice any of the features or the functionality and it's thin and it's lightweight too, which is a nice bonus feature. Right, it's your computer that's very portable and easy to take along in the tablet form. Yes, definitely. So what we have next are a few stocking stuffers and you know, even though a lot of this is small and compact, it really does make a big difference, like the dual chargers. I love these. We yeah. had one, and now we have one in every vehicle. It's amazing. I mean, we have so many mobile devices anymore, from the smartphones to the tablets, and we're constantly fighting over who's going to charge first, and <laughs> then your phone goes dead, so it was really nice. Actually, this is probably going to go in my husband's stocking because we definitely need one of these, and I'm sure many of our viewers need one of these as well. The one thing that we do have to keep in mind is the amperage. Yes. We have to be careful because, I mean, the, obviously the lower the amperage, the longer it's going to take to recharge your device. Or if you're trying to charge your phone and a tablet. Yes. And great for college kids in your family. Definitely. Um, grandma, grandpa. Definitely. That both decide they got to charge their phones at the same time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, so just make sure that you pay attention to the amperage. This one runs right around $30. They range all over. I mean, I've seen some mm -hmm. for $20. I've seen some for more than $30. Mm -hmm. So just pay close attention to the amperage and ask mm -hmm. lots of questions if you go and buy one. Mm -hmm. Some other things that we have, we've talked a lot about being hands-free. And there's some new products out there. I mean, we've all seen the Bluetooth headsets. But making sure that we're paying attention, especially if you're in the tractor or the combine, and not grabbing that phone or messing around with that phone, the Bluetooth headsets have really been a handy tool for farmers. The Voyager Legend is a very popular item, very nice, just slips over your ear, you know, very user friendly, you just touch and go, so that's a very, very nice piece of equipment. It's got up to seven hours of talk time which is also a nice bonus. Well, it's just a safe way to operate your equipment or be driving on the road or your semi or, mm -hmm. and if you do have a call come in, you answer safely. Yeah, well, and with all the new laws that are coming mm -hmm. into effect between the texting. And how much does this run? This one runs right around $100. Okay. So, you know, really it's pretty economical. I mean, you figure what you pay for a smartphone. This is a nice little device for $100. One more item that we have, we're talking about power. If you're ever not around a power outlet or a power source, 
Power packs are a big item these days. Just making sure that that phone is always charged or that tablet is always charged. This gives you that extra power that you need. This goes right around $80. I okay. mean, it is a little expensive, but I don't know how many times I've been out on a farm or traveling the back roads talking to farmers and my phone goes dead. Especially, as you say, when you're out traveling from farm to farm, the signal's not always strong, so right. then it eats up your battery faster. Yes, definitely. I mean, and a lot of tractors and combines have the USB drives in them anymore, but if you're ever in a place where you may be in an older tractor that doesn't have a USB charger, this is the perfect that's true. solution. So yeah, that's, that's $80. A good idea. So I've got one last thing that I want to show you, and this is very cool for extending that Wi-Fi connectivity on the farm. Oh. These are from Airstone, and they're the AirMesh 2N hub, and this is the receiver, and you would think it would be the opposite yeah. since this one is such a slim design, but what this does is this will take your Wi-Fi and it will extend it out over your farm so that wherever you are, you can be connected to the internet without any issues, any problems. You can actually mesh several of these together and get a radius of six miles, which is really nice. That is wonderful because when you have your tablet in the tractor with you or the combine and you do need to connect to the Wi-Fi, it's nice to be able to have that. And that way you don't have to connect to your hotspot, you're using up your cell time and really racking up those cell bills. So this eliminates that. Another new feature that they are introducing, or a product I should say, is the receiver. And the nice thing about this is this is actually designed for metal farm buildings so that you can put Because you lose the signal. Exactly, exactly. So when you're heading into that shop, you walk in and your Wi-Fi is gone, this will help with that and just attach us to the outside of a farm building. This runs for right around 325. This one is right around 175. And actually, the two work really well in tandem together, so it's a nice gift-giving idea for that person that's been a little extra special on your list. Very nice for right around $500 for the two of them. I like this. That's a good idea. So we're not done with you quite yet, Kathy, because when we come back, Jesse's got some great fashion ideas for farmers from companies like Carhartt, Duluth, and more. So don't go away. <laughs>